Hey, this is Mo with Smokes, and today we're going to be talking about the Hoob Cyber. The Hoob Cyber is made by manufacturer Hoob Hookahs, which is based in Russia. It's their all stainless steel shisha. It's tabletop size. It's colored depending on what you choose, and it's pretty great. I want to tell you more about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit closer. I'm going to unbox, assemble, talk through the different parts and the components, and then we're going to use it and talk about the pros and cons. So without further ado, all right, so this is the box. I'm just going to lay it down so you can see the front. It says Hoop Cyber. On the side, it says the future is now. On the back, it actually tells you the model, which is the P30 for mine. Uh, whether it has a silicone hose, if it does what color it is, if it has a handle, what kind of handle, and then the accessories that are included in the box. The model P30, P stands for purple, G stands for green, B stands for blue, S stands for silver. So I have the purple, again with the hoses, same thing, blue, green, purple, I have the purple hose. The handle, I have the stick 30, that's what it's called. And then accessories, I have the diffuser. And then the base, I have the base mini in purple. It tells you on the back everything that's in the box. Maybe I don't even have to unbox it. I just explained everything to you. No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's open this thing up. The first thing we're gonna see, Hoob actually does this thing where they send you this uh, accessory thing, and it's basically a wipe. So you can wipe down you know, your tray, wipe down your handle, wipe down whatever. Put that aside. Next thing you'll see is a little baggie. The baggie has an extra purge ball and an extra magnetic connector. You have the tray and the tray is wrapped. And depending on which one you get, the tray is colored. So I have the purple, there it is. You'll see here that it has the symbol for purple. We're gonna talk about that. That's gonna be fun to talk about, but that's the symbol for purple. The next piece that we have here is the hose connector. So this actually goes into the hose and then we'll plug into the hose port. Next, we have the diffuser. Take this off, let's get to the next layer. Next thing we have is the heart. And as you can see, it's all stainless steel. Pretty heavy actually. And on the heart, you have the magnetic port and then you have the cover for the purge ball. Really, if you wanna do this, you just pull this out and that's how you access the purge ball. Now I will say that it's not easy to do. So I recommend you grab like needle nose pliers and then just pull up. You could try to do it with your fingertips, but not the greatest. You might have to jiggle back and forth a few times. You just pull, you access that purge ball area and that's the purge ball right there. Drop that back in there. You'll see there's an O-ring around the cover of it, just pop that right back in, push down, and there you go. This is the Stick 30 hose handle, that side. Next layer, we have a spring for your hose. Gotta keep a spring for your hose. This is the top of the stem. This is the bottom of the top of the stem, and basically it looks like this. So you take this part and basically screw it into this part. And again, depending on what color you have, this color is going to be different. So mine's purple, so it's you know purplish with blue. Uh, the blue one is blue, the green one's green, obviously, and then the silver one is just silver. Right, make sure that's nice and tight. And then we have the top of the stem there. And actually, since we have the heart here, what we can do is take this and just screw this right into the heart. And you'll notice that all of these components, as I mentioned, are stainless steel. So there you go. The next thing is the down stem. So again, stainless steel, screw that in. Looks like that. And this is actually 11.81 inches. Great size for tabletop, honestly. Take this out. All right, so now we're on the final floor of this box. And actually what I forgot was, I forgot to rebox this. Forgot what floor it was on and all of these things, but you come across this, this is the bowl adapter. All right, so let's see what's at the bottom here. First thing we have, it's the grommet for the base. So here, here, and then just slides on and then you just push it up and you're good to go. And then the next thing we have is the hose. And as we saw in the box, the hose is purple. So there it is, put that aside. We also have the bowl grommet and that's also purple, matches the theme. So if I were to take this guy right here, put this on, what it would look like. All right, and now I can take the base out and you'll notice that the base is the same color. Well, it's colored at least, it's purple, right? It has that nice tint to it. So the blue one would have a blue tint, the green one has a green tint, and the silver one actually is just clear. All right, move the box out of the way now that it's empty. 
put down the base. So here we can actually put it together now. We have the stem fully assembled. We're gonna put it into the base and pro tip, if it doesn't slide right in, just run water over this. Or the alternative is you can take the grommet off. And this actually goes for all shishas, not just this one. You can actually just put this in like this, wet this right here. And then what'll actually happen is it'll go right in. There you go, looks like this. The tray actually goes on top and then you grab the bowl port and you screw that in. And then once it's fully screwed in, super sturdy. You have a grommet if you wanna put that on top. This part will go into the hose. So what you can do is grab the hose like this, grab the spring, put the spring over the bottom of the hose, slide it right in, grab this piece, push that right in, like so. Right there, magnet goes right in. For the other end of the hose, grab the handle. This part right here that has the ridge, you just push it right in. And this is what it looks like. Like I said, nice size, about 12 inches. With the base, it makes it a couple of inches taller, but still very nice size for tabletop. I'm gonna pack a bowl now so you can actually see me smoke it and we'll talk about pros and cons. All right, so we're back. I got my bowl packed and I'm just gonna tell you a little bit more about it, go into the pros and cons while I smoke. I'll take a puff real quick. Before I get into it, make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Moa Smokes. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, share button, whichever one you like. And also, if you have questions about my hoodie, which says the shisha after this, which is kind of my thing, right? Like whenever you have something that's delicious or a heavy meal or whatever, you know, the shisha after this is gonna be crazy. So that's where it comes from. The link for this is in the description as well. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about the shisha. So first off, I'm gonna show you the purge. So as you can see, one deep exhale, even when I pull and blow into the base, pretty much clears out the base. The diffuser is pretty quiet, so when you smoke. You don't really hear it. It's like pretty quiet. Hoob actually makes my favorite diffusers. It's pretty much the quietest it gets. Uh, the optimum water level that I have for this one, keep in mind, bases vary, is 365 milliliters. So try that and then adjust accordingly. But to me, I get the best cloud output. I get the quietest uh, pull like from the diffuser. Overall, like that's what I've found works best with it. What I'll also do is I'll include a picture right here. See the picture. This is pretty much where the water is. It's right above the diffuser. Nothing crazy, it's definitely not an inch, it's even less than half an inch above it. As we talked about when I was putting this together, this is magnetic, so it just sits right there, plugs in, and you're good to go. The shisha itself, going into the pros, fully stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about, you know, plastic or anything like that, and it'll last you a long time because it's fully stainless steel. When I showed the close-up, I didn't mention this, but on the heart, it actually has this really cool design, which is where it gets the name from, the cyber. It has the design that's like micro circuits, and that's the design that you see on the heart, which I think is pretty cool. The draw on the shisha is actually a neutral draw, which is my preferred draw. Like it's not too open, it's not too restricted, it's right in the middle and it's perfect for me. But obviously, you know, do it based on your own preferences. I love that it's easy to clean because again, it's fully stainless steel. Like stainless steel cleans easy. You don't have to worry about rusting or anything like that. Now going into the cons, it's a little on the heavier side. It's about four and a half pounds with the base fully assembled minus the bowl and heat management device and all that good stuff. Keep in mind it, it is a little heavy, but you know, it's a really nice size for tabletop. As you can see, like my head is clean over this, which is nice if you're watching TV and you have it on your coffee table, or if you use it while you're gaming on a desk, or even if you're working on a desk, you can always reach right above the bowl and adjust the coals without having to stand up. Another con, and I kind of alluded to this when I was talking about the tray, is the tray is colored. And Hoob's website tells you straight up like, hey, be careful, don't use anything that's acidic, no orange, no pineapple, grapefruit, etc. But also don't use steel wool. So what happened was I had like a, an accident where like my dog knocked over my provost and the coals fell on the floor, hit the rug, picked them up, put it on the tray, and then it actually, the carpet part that was on the coal, I guess, uh, kind of ruined the color. And then I tried to take it off the of steel wool 
and now I have permanent scratches in my tray. Don't do that. And now you know. The only other con I can think of is like the purge ball is a little bit hard to get to. You know, you might have to use pliers to get to it. Make sure you don't scratch the stainless steel, but it's really it. The price of this uh, specific configuration is $248 on 5starhookah.com. Note that my coupon code does not work on it. This is one of the excluded items because I don't know why. I think it's like because it's uh, hard to get straight from Russia, so it's excluded. I will say though that for $248, you get everything that you saw when I was unboxing the base, the tray, the stem, the heart, the hose, the spring, the handle. It's a great value for $248. Like you get everything you need um, minus a bowl and a heat management device and coals and tobacco for $248. So the value is great. And that's only for the colored one. For the stainless steel one that's not colored, it's $205. So it's an even better value. So if you care about the colors, $248. If you don't, it's $205. If you get it straight from Hoop's website, it's the same price, like exactly the same price, but you have to pay shipping from Russia. And I don't recommend you do that if you live in the United States because when I bought my Hoop Go On, it ended up taking like six months total because it sat in customs and it was in Poland for a while, so yeah, I would recommend if you're in the USA, try to get it from a vendor that sells them in the USA. And like I said, I got mine from Five Star. So now I'm just gonna smoke for a little bit and it's pretty much it. Like I said, make sure you like, follow, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time.